<laughs> we are at Schoolie Swarm. In the beautiful Florida wilderness, next to a lake, our view is the most amazing. Vans, buses, all kinds of stuff. We are excited to share this episode with you, full of amazing views and fun times. <laughs> like prom. Oh my gosh, our limo has arrived. Yay! We are on our way to prom. Woohoo! An unforgettable experience as we're welcomed into this special nomadic community full of good vibes. But we do get off to a rocky start. We're already stuck. This is just the beginning. <laughs> so let's go. School is warm and we're on a dirt road. Oh boy. Oh, there it is. There's a sign. Please registered guests only. Okay. All right, stop here. I guess I just have to use the radio. Hello, checking in, Michelle. We're checking in. It's like the starter one and then all the ones you come to, it makes a bigger honeycomb. We're so thankful to have met Michelle and Travis at VanFest Florida just a couple of months ago. They're the founders of Schoolie Swarm and such great people. And they put on a great event. It's a good time and especially it gets people to go to a different location that they might not have gone by themselves. This is the organizer of Schoolie Swarm. If you're interested in just hanging out with really cool people, check it out. Schoolie Swarm. <laughs> Here comes trouble. Oh. <laughs> Rob says they're okay. Whoa. Like Did you see that thing? We picked up a hitchhiker. Hi um, guys. Schoolie Swarm is an annual event in Florida held around February and it's mostly for the schoolie community. Schoolies are school buses converted into tiny homes on wheels. But this event also welcomes all kinds of other rigs like our van. Wow, this is super cool. Yeah, all kinds of stuff. Schoolie Swarm takes place on this beautiful private land in Melrose, Florida, right on a big lake. We can park anywhere we like, and there are lots of options. But our van friends are gathered by the lake, so we'll head over that way. Apparently all the vans are kind of off to the left area and by the lake, which will be really fun. Ooh, so excited. I see the lake. Yeah. And all the vans are there. Oh my gosh, this is the coolest oh, thing. Know. We've got the best spot ever. I found a good spot, right by our friends. Woohoo. All right. Wait. <laughs> I don't know. Well, this was unexpected. We just got here and right away, we're already stuck. I'm having horrible flashbacks to Peace Love Vans. At one of the van events, we ended up unexpectedly helping out a fellow van lifer get unstuck. <laughs> My goodness. Okay, so we'll go like a little bit further. Yeah, we're truly stuck, Steve. Uh, we're stuck. Boy. Yeah, it's really I know. All right. You got it, you got it. Wait, go, yeah. go, keep going, keep going. Oh man, we did it! It's a good thing we did that. Others won't get stuck. We're lucky that we got out. Hey, there's kickball at 12.30. You don't have to play, socialize, and have fun. <laughs> These have already paid for themselves. Seriously. Well done. <laughs> I can't believe that. Oh man, that was a mess. I was the man to get that side of stuff. Look at that. That was deep, dude. This yeah. is crazy. I'll go uh, oh my God. see if I can find some water for you. Thank you, Steve. That was Steve from Steve and Audra, also over on YouTube. And our friend Lance also helped clean the Max tracks while we figured out the parking situation. Okay, gotta figure out where to park this time. The winner, winner. ta-da, dry parking spot. How crazy. We're here five minutes and already getting all dirty and stuck in the mud. This was a community effort. Thank you so much to our friends for helping us out. But after an exciting morning, everything worked out just fine. I mean, look at this amazing spot on the water. Yeah, now that's a friend. <laughs> almost good as new. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Right. Appreciate it. So thankful we got out. Yeah, this is like the second time we've actually used these. Now that that's behind us, we were really curious about this kickball game. <laughs> so we headed over with some friends. <laughs> well, I'll catch up. <laughs> we'll swap. This is so cool. Wow. Look at that. Well, I don't think we gave ourselves enough days here. We're gonna be here about three nights, but there's so oh, much going on. Sarah. Showers. Oh. Very nice. We might have to come back here and use it later. I love that we have a big group going and we just keep stopping along the way. <laughs> this is very cool. There's a lot of stuff. Yeah. There's stuff everywhere. Oh, how about one of these? Shower tent. There's a ton of things in there. Very cool idea. We made it! 
<laughs> Let's go. There's fun activities like this every day for a whole week, like wine downs, karaoke, community breakfast, tie-dye parties, and potlucks. There's just too many to list. And this kickball game is a tradition. Teams are kids versus adults. Yeah, it's root for the kids. It was so great catching up with friends during the game, but it's a good thing we were still kind of paying attention. Incoming! We get a lot of questions about our folding chairs, which can be a bit tricky to stay balanced. All right, who's next? Who wants to try it? Oh, there you go, Lance. Oh, jeez. How's that? Perfect. Yeah, first try. That's good. Good job. We rooted them on. I think we kind of lost score after a while because we were talking and having fun. Definitely a, a different feel to this event. Oh my goodness, it is such a beautiful day. I'm so excited that schoolie swarm weather is really working out. This lake is actually so clear and we're parked right on this lake. I bet because this is a youth camp, they might even go swimming here. But I wouldn't recommend it because apparently there are alligators in here. But of course there are, it is Florida. Kind of been go, go, go ever since we got here. And uh, it's still go, go, go. We have about 10 minutes or so to catch the yoga class, but a little food. Yeah. Paul made this amazing quinoa salad. So of course we have quinoa, it's cucumber, zucchini, cherry tomatoes, cubanelle red peppers, cilantro, and then I marinated tofu. A little of this and that real quick. It's the best. I know, we're late, always. <laughs> Oh my god, we're so late. We're getting a ride. Thank you so much. I think we made it just in time. We took a shortcut and there's a zip line right above us. But too bad it says it's for kids, 100 pounds or less. Can I get away with doing it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the frisbee golf. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can see it go through here. Oh, wait, I have what? a question to ask you. Would you go to prom with me? <gasps> yes, I'll go to prom with you. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> So cool. There are so many buses. It's oh, Gary. I was just hey. going to... He's the official or unofficial photographer at each of these events that we've been seeing. <laughs> <laughs> with the calm feeling of yoga still with us, we headed back to the van to relax, talk with our friends, and enjoy the sunset. And we're greeted oh with watermelon. That looks really good. I've been dying to cut this watermelon. And we're just enjoying a nice little stroll. And we're going to go check out what vans and buses and other kinds of rigs we have here. We've actually seen quite a few of those where they build out a minivan and then you can travel really quickly and still fit in a parking space. Oh, yeah. it's Paul. What's up, what's up? <laughs> yeah, Paul's our neighbor. Oh man, this is looking so beautiful with the sunset coming in on all these rigs. Never seen this many buses in one place. I'm sure if we go to Schooly Palooza out west one day, we're probably gonna see even more, but Wow, this is impressive. Hey, kitty, kitty, kitty. She's so precious. Oh my gosh. Kitty, kitty. 
The sun was setting fast, so we hurried back to share the last little bit of sunshine with our van life family. This is our sunset group. <laughs> oh, it's huge. <laughs> Oh man, I'm just enjoying the sunset. Next on the schedule is a bonfire that is supposed to be so big. And tonight on the menu is Mexican. Wraps, some refried beans, veggies. This is a nice looking guacamole. I mean avocado. I always <laughs> call it that. <laughs> this is the most amazing dinner setting ever. <laughs> I cannot picture life without a van now. <laughs> We're lost. We're lost. We might, we might be. Thing. We're going to see the fire. This thing must be like 20 feet high. Blaine, <laughs> just think, if we were at Burning Man, I think this would be like 10, 20 times the size of this. I can't imagine because it already seems so massive. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. We're probably like 20 feet away at least, and it is just so hot. So they made Dutch oven treats, a whole table of them. They put them all in the fire, and now they're serving them. Everybody's lined up. Oh, this is going to make for a great part of the, the video. The vegan it's the apple. Oh, look at this. Oh. <laughs> apple peach, let's get a little five on here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh, it smells good. I'm pretty excited. These are Dutch oven treats they made on the fire. And this is apple peach or apple apricot. It's one of those two, but it is out of this world. So good. Mm. supposed to be a beautiful day today, everywhere in Florida, except a little strip of rain. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be in that little strip of rain. Yeah. We have sunshine with us everywhere we go. Hello, sunshine. Making an Instagram post? Yes. This is just too beautiful to pass up. This has got to be one of the most beautiful spots I think we've ever had. So our neighbor just gave us some fresh coffee made with a percolator. Look at this thing. Mm. Then as the water boils, it perks up through the center 
you put your coffee grounds mm -hmm. in the basket. Mm. So rather than just like a drip coffee where the water goes once through it and down, yeah. this keeps perking, 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 and you perk for seven minutes. Well, and I think I might have to look into one of those because that's pretty good coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Starting to get flashbacks of Peace Love Vans. <laughs> Starting to rain. Temporarily. A little bit of a walk to the bathrooms, but we have bathrooms. That's really nice. And apparently warm showers, which we'll probably go look at later. Oh, look at this wind. What's going on in here? This is the clothing swap we passed by yesterday. I don't know what I'm wearing with my prom dress tomorrow. I wanted to try on some boots. And these are all just free? Well, yeah, basically, but it's kind of a swap. So ideally you swap something. Babe, I found boots. Woo! -hoo. Look at these. These I think will be good to dance in. I want to wear them with my prom dress tomorrow. We're going to prom. <laughs> Yeah, I have to say, I don't know if, if you guys have seen the video, but this really feels like Haiti. You remember the Haiti episode? We're yes. walking through kind of like the, the town center and people are selling things. The dirt road and like the little huts. It's so funny that this here in Florida is reminding us of Haiti. Kind of curious if there's any new items at the silent auction. If something catches my eye. You never know. Let's go see what they got. Actually, this silent auction is a fundraiser for a swarm family in need. This community is so awesome. And all of these are donated items. It's not only things for auction, but experiences. Here's a couple offering dinner for four. Such a cool idea. So many unique things and so many unique people. I love it. Fingers crossed, we're gonna put in a bid on this one. It's a crochet blanket. It's yellow like our sunshine and it's in the octagon shape of the schoolie swarm. It's starting to rain a little bit. Anyway, just grabbing a quick snack. So this is what a van life brunch looks like. Wraps are the thing. Mm -hmm. Last time, we are hanging out with Frankie and Alex at f and Van Life. They taught us this game. And this is the first time we're playing it by ourselves. Yeah. So let's see if we can remember how to play it. It's called head. Can we call it lemon head <clears throat> for the sake of all the children out there? Yeah. And then I gotta pick, okay. Clear the deck. Ah, darn, that was a good, good move. All right, so here comes our friend Susan. We're telling her to park right over here. You see, our friend Susan has a schoolie bus. She's just not driving it around right now. Yes. Welcome to Schoolie Swarm. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> you didn't bring the bus? No, it's not busable yet. <laughs> <laughs> Everything would just fall over. <laughs> hey. this whole event. Oh, oh that's awesome. awesome. So she was on her yeah. way to where? Oh, prom committee, because tomorrow at Schoolie Swarm, they're having a prom under the pavilion. I'm so excited. <laughs> With the weather clearing up, it was a good time to take a walk around and visit some of the school buses that were parked way on the other side of the property. With our friend Susan having a bus of her own that she's finishing up, we were all on the lookout for good ideas. The Barky Bunch. And they're on YouTube, so we'll have to go check them out. They basically got this at auction for $1,111. And they've been traveling in it for, like I don't know, I have to check how seven long. Seven years? Seven or? years. Five years, seven years? What a deal, how cool. That's what it's wow. about. The experiences and going to places. And I see you've been to Schoolie Swarm a few times. Yeah, this is our third one. We were so excited the first time we came here. Like, oh my god, more buses. Yeah. And yeah. like, we can go look at them all. Yeah. My son we made it for us. We, we just made ours. <laughs> yeah, of course. Apparently, this one's still being built. Maybe we can take a look at what it looks like inside of a bus before oh. they really get started. It's huge, isn't it? It is. Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I've been we'll doing these schoolie yeah. swarms. I love it. It's like, yeah. oh, there's that bus. Or these are the people I want to connect with. What's a bus look yeah. like? Oh I can gosh. operate it with one hand. Oh, oh my it. goodness. <laughs> and I didn't have to put struts in or any of that yeah. fancy stuff. I gotta take a picture That is of genius. That. Oh. All right, one thing I'm really jealous of is you have an oven. It's an RV stove. And then this is our bathroom. Wow, that's really spacious compared to what we have. The sunken shower. Oh, oh my gosh. Whoa, no way. Do you like that yeah, one? Yeah, I think so. Hmm. 
So basically she let us take this with us to see if we like the colors and which we do, but do we like the size and she could even make it custom for us. So I was actually kind of thinking here, what do you think about that? Nice. Oh, fine. Oh, it does fit. Oh, Here you go, Paul. Oh, thank you. Jack? <laughs> Nothing. Oh! So we're invited over to Goodnight Trails Van for a card game. Well, so what's going on in here? We're playing cards. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. This one, yeah. okay. you could possibly change it out if you have a higher card. Okay. <laughs> Everyone's picking this up really well. I'm kind of concerned I might lose. <laughs> <laughs> She's going down. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. Come on, no. Oh. Oh. Reset. Oh. oh, that's very well, kind of you. These great people were some of the amazing friends we had made at Banfest, and we are so happy to hang out with them again at Schooly Swarm. Oh, good game. Yeah. Bye, Susan. We said our goodbyes, but Susan would be back again tomorrow. Now, we have some cooking to do for the potluck tonight. It's about time to get ready for the potluck. We are making scrambled tofu. We gotta get to cooking. got some curry powder. I wish you guys could smell this right now. And the secret ingredient that makes this so good is squeezing fresh lime all over the scrambled tofu. Lastly, maybe a little cilantro. Oh yeah. Yeah, Forgot thought about so. That. We found it. It's just right here. Nice. I guess we'll go inside and see what it's like. This is the big potluck of the week. Everyone brings a dish and there's so much food going around. Lots of dishes to try. And there's even a vegetarian section. You just sit anywhere and it's a great place to meet fellow nomads. This is definitely the place to be tonight. Yeah. Hey, we got it! Oh my gosh, I'm so happy! Look, we won! I'm so happy right now. He's talking endlessly about this thing. And then we forgot all about it, we walked by, came in, and we won! I'm so happy right now. Winner, 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 tofu dinner. <laughs> <laughs> We've won the silent auction yes. and this is going to a really good cause. So it's it's a win-win. I can't believe it. Have we not gone to the potluck mm -hmm. and walked by the silent auction? Wait, what, what happened to all the chairs? We better go in and check it out. Where, Where's the blanket? It's gone. Because go? there were only four items that people hadn't shown up yet to go pick up. And this was one of them. Yeah. And if we had not shown up, somebody you know else would have got it. I've been getting buzzes in my pocket. I wonder if I got a text message. I'm so excited because it's going to remind us of Schooly Swarm. Yep. Congratulations. Oh. You are the highest bidder on an item in the Schooly Swarm silent auction. Sure enough. These are crocheted by somebody staying here at Schooly Swarm. I think I saw the bus. They had mentioned it's something like the Artful Adventure. Yes, we will go check it out tomorrow. Like a honeycomb, like a beehive. Yeah, and it's yellow like Aww. our sunshine van. Yeah. Well, how special. Look at that. I think it fits in very well. Oh my gosh, it's the perfect yellow. I mean, for real, look at our pillows. <laughs> ah! I'm just so happy right now. All right, we're gonna go check out some karaoke. I'm not singing. My voice is not ready. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Showing the world what it means to be free. You know it's gonna be a beautiful day today. But there's prom tonight. So we're starting out the morning fixing hair, getting clean. And I'm actually pretty excited. I don't have to use palm olive. 
<laughs> I finally have some soap. <laughs> Let's try out this little pack towel too. Oh wow, I feel like a new man. Ah, just ran across our friend from last night. She has a Honda CRV and she is wanting to do van life and was inspired by some of our videos and watching other YouTubers and well she just took the car that she had and just tried to make that work. So she's camping in her CRV, which is awesome. How do you feel? Super clean. There was a, a golf cart that just went by and was like, group photo 1045. We better hurry up. We have 10 minutes. <laughs> drive by high five. Drive by high five. Yeah. <laughs> ah, so many cool little toys here. Everyone is gathering for the group photo. Yeah. Oh, it's actually pretty comfortable. Okay. Okay. We're, we need more people on the road. We need all people. We need people. We need people. <laughs> Everybody's fighting over the spot. <laughs> All right, for the E and the schoolie. Right here. Thanks, guys. Woohoo, Woo it worked. We did it. <laughs> good job, good job. All right, Sarah, are you ready? I'm ready. Yes. So cool. We were right here in the E of the schoolie. Yeah. We did it. Oh man, they said they were gonna have a water slide, but this thing is next level. This is like 30 stories high. Look at this. It's another beautiful day for a stroll through the buses. Hi. Morning. Hi. Oh, Hi. Hi. We got sweet little gifts. Oh my gosh. Isn't that cute? <laughs> Nomad. And they were from Canada. Yeah. We found Susan. Here, run up and give her a hug. Yes. Oh, Whoa. <laughs> we found you. It's perfect. That is beautiful. This is going to be so great. In the awesome. Thank you so much. And then we found the couple from Artiful Adventures who crocheted and donated our beautiful quilt to the silent auction. What gorgeous and unique work of arts she creates. Thank you so much for our quilt. Oh my oh, god. That's it's adorable. So it's perfect. Cute. I know, right? It's a bag in a bag. A crochet. Your... Thank you. <laughs> All these beautiful things, I love it. We're ready to check out this bus. This couple built this out, they're from Prince Edward Island. Supposedly has over a million miles. Is that even possible? Engine's been redone. Yeah. So, yeah. It's all the original. All the original stuff that still works. Go ahead, puppy. I'm all about the little details. I made that last year. What I'm really liking about the layout of this one is this bus doesn't have just a straight all the way down hallway. You walk down and then you gotta turn a little bit. Oh, you got a bathroom. So it's really like a home. It's intricate. Very neat. They've been off the grid for years and they've never plugged in because they have 3,200 watts of solar. Whoa. This up here is actually their view from where they live in Prince Edward Island. So. That's beautiful. Wow, such a nice guy. Ooh, found a place to yeah. hang out. <laughs> We're gonna stay here all day. I can like raise my arms. Yeah. Microwave toaster. Oh. Whoa. Yeah. We come check this out. Thank you for letting us oh, share your bedroom here. This is a Murphy bed that goes up. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, look at this view. All the buses. And he said this entire bus was 75000 including the build. That is crazy. That's really incredible. Well, he must yeah. have done it all himself. <laughs> yeah. They even have a washer and dryer. And look at this bathroom. This is beautiful. Had 
such a good time talking to everybody. And at some point, we can only see so many buses. <laughs> <laughs> These are hitting the spot right here. Some oranges. We got burgers going. Oh. Uh oh. My hummus is frozen. Actually, that might be nice because it's pretty hot outside. What's the temperature right there? Eighty. It's kind of like a camping toaster. You just put it right on there that catches the crumbs and then the flames just toast it. So while he toasts that, let me show you a couple of things we bought. What they call this? Uh, a bag, bag and a bag. bag. When life gives you lemons, make a bag. <laughs> <laughs> well, didn't know we'd make it to yoga, but after all, it makes us feel more relaxed than anything else, so. And so perfectly placed after yoga was a pie eating contest. All right, we do not have any room for any more. Which I almost got recruited for. You there. Come on, no, come on. We got a sponsored pie. We need you to sit down and eat. I'm very excited to see this. Uh, well, everyone's about to eat a lot of pie. One, two. No. The talent, the talent, oh my gosh. But they got to eat blueberry pie. I mean, yeah. that's pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that was so funny and so unexpected too. I'm glad we did yoga. Yeah, yeah, so definitely. Glad. So I heard this news. Does that say 20,000 subscribers? <laughs> Woo! Uh, Our little drone is doing a dance. <laughs> okay, I'm well ready. maybe we can do that here. <laughs> and I have a full length here too. Thank you. About this one. Thanks, Audra, for letting me borrow this. I'm gonna put some bling bling on my nails. Don't usually have nail polish because it comes off, but for prom, you have to for prom. My nails are done. <laughs> <laughs> Our friend Susan's taking off. Bye. 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 You know what that means? Hmm. It's time to get ready for prom. This is gonna be a party. Our limo has arrived. Yeah, we can all fit. Thank you, Jarvis. This is the party bus. Oh, hey. yeah. Our limo has arrived. Yay. We are on our way to prom. Woohoo! Look at this ride. <laughs> Lights and all. Yeah. So how late are we partying tonight? All night long. I hear music. <laughs> We're so thankful to have met this amazing community and we're looking forward to the next Schoolie Swarm. Now we're headed all the way south to the Florida Keys where the waters are blue and the sun is hot. Join us on the adventure at Bahia Honda State Park. We'll see you there.